feel that it's a unique, unique text. I mean, you, you, I, I don't know about any other text that uh, uh, try to present uh, uh, two conflict narratives in uh, uh, in this uh, in this way. Um, second. situation uh, in the region and the present and especially in Palestine Israel uh, had created during this war. In one side you have the state of Israel, in the other side you have uh, the refugee uh, problem and the fact that Palestinians don't have yet state. So uh, everything's going back to 1947-1949. Of course, we, uh, as I said before, some introduction to it, especially 1945 and 1947, you know, after the Second World War and, and before the war itself, and we discussed the outcome of the war uh, from 1949 uh, 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 until 1956, but, but still uh, uh, we believe that uh, uh, the war itself is an historic Things and, and uh, Adel, Adel will say uh, from his point of view that uh, we don't offer here a solution. It is not uh, the point. Uh, we offer uh, some help, hopefully, uh, to the post, to the atmosphere around the discussion uh, about. this uh, a, a target that you have to deal with in order to solve a, 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 a 
huge political, cultural uh, problem. So once you, you see a human being that he has past, he has present, he has feeling, he has memories, personal and collective memories, I, I feel it's different. But you have your own. So when you see the other side listening to you, he feel that you listen to him, it's totally different uh, uh, meeting and uh, as little as it might be, uh, we hope that we, we, uh, we can contribute um, to the atmosphere around the possible discussion about, uh, about the future. So now this book is steps I think that the most the, the, the major things that we can do is uh, to work on the ground in, 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 in Israel Palestine this is the main goal I mean this is what I feel that the, the, the target uh, audience or the target uh, groups that we uh, that can work with group is, is a the student and universities and, and uh, 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 the teachers uh, uh, educator at the uh, education system uh, in Israel and Palestine uh, and so they can do something uh, uh, with it. Of course uh, it, it will be very important that uh, uh, political leaders I think that it will test by the fact that how far we can go with the young generation. <coughs> Again, we don't have to work with the young uh, students uh, themselves, but we should work with, uh, with the teachers. I think that uh, we are emphasizing it because otherwise, another very interesting book, but not that book. We decided to write the narratives of the war of 48 and its outcome, and we decided uh, to give those two narratives uh, together, integrated as much as possible together, which means the reader will not find out who wrote who. Unlike other books written by Palestinians and, and Israelis, uh, here we have a, a shared book two narratives of, what, of the same war, and that's why we call it the two sides uh, of the coin. So it's one coin, two sides, uh, and uh, the way we wrote the book is that we agreed on the outline of the book, what will, uh, we have in the book, and then each one of us was writing a chapter giving it to the other side, and then the other side will put, uh, add his input comments uh, to that chapter. We agree on that chapter, and then we move uh, to the next chapter. And at the end of the day, we have a book, uh, once again, about 1948, the war, independence for the Israelis, the Nakba, the catastrophe for the Palestinians, uh, the two stories in one book. Would you think that uh, 1948 is, is uh, why did you?
that you use it as a focus? Well, I believe that uh, every student of the history of the Middle East, and particularly of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, knows uh, that 1948, the War of 48, is the turning point in the history of that conflict. Uh, the country and the peoples of the country, Jews and Palestinians, before 48 are not the same after 48. The Jews in Palestine until 48 were a minority. Uh, they lived hundreds of years in Palestine and elsewhere as minorities. They didn't uh, have a state. They didn't uh, know what sovereignty. Uh, and in the aftermath of this war, uh, the Israelis were the, the victorious in this war. Uh, and they established the state of Israel. So for the Jews, for the Israelis, this is a new stage, a new birth, establishment uh, of a Jewish state. For the Palestinians, the other side of the coin, uh, the War of 48 is the dissolving, the dismemberment of the Palestinian society. Palestinians who lived until 1948 in their country in Palestine as one society, like other Arab societies in the region, were dismembered. Many of them became refugees. Others uh, became were marginalized uh, under uh, other people's control, whether Arab or others, uh, the Palestinians in the West Bank under the Jordanian regime, Gaza under the Egyptian administration, and Palestinians in Israel, like myself, became a minority in a Jewish state. So uh, the outcome of this war is different, very different on both sides. For one side, the Israelis, it is a solution of the Jewish problem, the historical Jewish problem. For the Palestinians, it's the birth of the Palestinian question and the Palestinian problem. And since 1948 until today, we are suffering in the region from the outcome uh, of that war. And that's why uh, it was natural that for, uh, for us to take that event, the most important event in the history of the conflict, as the focus of our book. And um, what do you hope the impact of this book uh, will be, uh, especially in the region? What, what do you think uh, it can accomplish? We hope that uh, people who will read this book uh, will be more critical uh, of their uh, national narrative, uh, of what, what they tell uh, themselves and their uh, sons and daughters, what happened in 48. They will understand that uh, the whole truth is not in their side. And to start questioning uh, what, we be they, what they believe uh, and what they think has happened in 48. And at the same time, we hope that uh, each side will be more open-minded uh, to the narrative of the other. So we speak here about knowledge and acknowledgement uh, of the narrative of the other. Uh, and by this, we hope that we'll promote understanding, reconciliation, before reaching uh, a settlement, uh, an agreement uh, to the political issue, and after it. We need that before and after. And maybe I'll, I'll read uh, from the introduction uh, of uh, our book that me and Moti wrote together. Uh, I think the last paragraph is uh, very telling uh, what we think uh, this book is about. And what we hope it uh, achieve, attempt to achieve justice. And it is certainly not meant as a source of research-based precise historiography. 
The truest of this book's success will be the reverberations we hope to co it causes, the debate we hope it sparks, and its contribution, as minor as it may be, to a fruitful and constructive discussion of narrative between the two main parties to the conflict. We believe that such a discussion can serve as a dialogue of the living for the sake of better life. So now this book has been completed and uh, the project has been ended. Um, what do you think the next steps will be? Uh, from our point of view, uh, the next step, we hope that as many people as possible will read the book to begin with, both in the region and abroad, in Europe, elsewhere uh, in the West and other parts of the world. Uh, but particularly in the region for Palestinians and Israelis, uh, we hope to, uh, to have many events in which uh, people uh, will read the book and discuss its contents. Uh, in those events, we hope that people will ask the right questions, will question their narrative, and they will open their mind uh, to the other narrative. And by this, we'll promote a positive dialogue, a, a process of understanding uh, each other, which is uh, really necessary uh, for uh, reconciliation, uh, for a better future for both peoples, uh, Palestinians uh, and Israelis. We hope also uh, that uh, educators, journalists, uh, politicians, uh, NGO leaders, uh, and uh, other activists of the civil society uh, will use uh, this book in their activities, uh, including teachers and educators uh, in school. And by this, they will be uh, the agents for understanding, for uh, acknowledgement uh, of the narrative of the other. Uh, so this is our